when I was when I was a kid, like three years old, I asked my mom for a science kit. And instead, what she got me was one of those Fisher Price plastic, you know, toy sets for doctors. You know, you you know what I'm talking about. And I was so disturbed by it. And we have it on Super 8 film. You see me get this kit, and it's a doctor's Fisher Price kit. And I, the look on my face is so much pain. But she didn't know what a scientist really was supposed to get. She knew she wasn't supposed to give me dangerous chemicals at three years old. So I always kind of knew I was going to do something on the science engineering front as a kid somehow. It was the only way I was really going to be happy. One time I came downstairs as a teenager telling my family to evacuate the house, to pull the windows uh, open because I'd accidentally made a poison, which the del it was a delicate operation between making this flame retardant I wanted to make and a poison, and then I saw the gas and realized everyone needed to leave. Now, no one died, uh, but it, it actually taught me just never to do any of those experiments in the house again. So that's when I quit doing chemistry experiments and started working on electrical engineering. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think I like watching things break more and knowing why they broke than I did making stuff that worked right, right off the bat. When Valensol started the company, none of us had any experience in biometrics. My background, by the time I had finished through a GE, was focused on sensor technology and measuring biological aerosols. So I was the one at a GE who developed the system that measures elevated amount of bioaerosols, so like anthrax in the air with a really cost-effective smoke alarm type system. And when I left GE, I had all that knowledge with me, but it was not focused on measuring things in the body. It was all focused on measuring things in the air. So valence cell had to kind of relearn itself from the start. And frankly, sometimes in order to move the industry forward, you need people coming from outside of the, the specialty. And that's what happened with valence cell. We, we dived right in and we solved problems in a different way than people who were in the field were going to solve them.